our service is going to be run by our youth. And um, the theme of our youth Sunday today is diversity and unity. So the ultimate question of this evening is how do you worship God? Turn to the person next to you and say, how do you worship God? So we asked the youth to choose from three forms of worship and that was dance, music and poetry. And when you, um, like you saw early on in the service um, with Siu Liku, myself and Winnie, we demonstrated the way we worship God through our dance. And um, throughout the service, you're going to see the youth demonstrate their worship for God through their talent in music and in poetry. Um, we're also um, going to share um, our memory verse that has been pondering in our hearts this week. And although memory verses may be typical during Sunday school, but we believe that, um, that being close to scripture, um, that keeps us rooted in our worship. And... Um, um, and out of our memory verses, that's how we worship God as well. And so, um, without further ado, I'd like to worship. Uh, I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to ask the um, the dance team to come up and share our memory verses. Amen. <laughs> Corinthians 6 verse 19 and 20. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and whom who is in you that you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Amen. To me, this verse means that when we borrow something off, when we borrow something off someone, it means that um, we have to take really good care of it, right? Because we have to give it back. And, and in that, like, God has already bought us, so we are only borrowing ourselves from God, so we have to take really good care of it. And then sometime at the end, we'll have to return that, because we're only borrowing it, right? And to me, I got that it is important that we look after ourselves, not just in the way we eat, but in the way that we look at ourselves, the way we speak life to ourselves, and the way we love ourselves, because we have to return it back to God in the end. Amen. Whatever you do, don't give up. Like, um, if you know that God has called you to do something, and if it seems like it's not, if it seems like um, it's not ending well, or it seems like everything is just falling, um, falling apart, like don't give up because when the right time comes, God is gonna pull through. God is gonna make a way when you see no way, and um, in the right time, um, you will see the things, you'll see the work that you do come into fruition. And so, just don't give up. Amen. We do not look at the things that are seen, but the things which are seen. So the things that are seen are temporary, and the things that are seen are eternal. Um, this verse basically says it all. Like the things that are seen are temporary. Like, like for instance, um, like money. You can you can buy like a pair of shoes, but like how long is it gonna last you until you buy another one? And the last one of the verse, um, for the things that are not seen are eternal. Like God's love, like God's love is eternal. Like it doesn't expire. Like you can't, it can't explain, and you can't buy love, and that's what the rest means to me. Amen. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 16, verse 9, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Um, to me, this verse means that no matter what goals or achievements we have accomplished in our life, it was all because of God, and I just hope that whoever here has a goal that they are setting for the future, just allow God to guide you through your journey. Amen. 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 God is good. Come on, guys. God is good. All the time. Amen. And uh, so, what the.
team that um, how we worship God is through music and um, majority of these guys on the instrument side this is their first time playing in front of everyone but I believe that this will be the next generation of Connection City Church Amen, Amen. and I, I want to challenge the parents um, if you see your son, your daughter up here I want you to really um, pour into them not just say go to youth but really encourage them um, using their talents for God. Um, there's a story of when uh, Moses went up to the mountain and there was this two, uh, the, the two men that was holding up Moses' hand. And I want you to be like that uh, for your kids um, so that um, they will stand firm in God and they will use their talents. Amen. Thank you. 